हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1008 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर फ्रॉम पेपर एंड पल्प इंडस्ट्रीज वी नो ग्लोबली वर्ल्ड वाइड देर आर इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक पेपर पल्प इंडस्ट्री टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री फूड इंडस्ट्री फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री एंड कलर पिगमेंट इंडस्ट्री पेट्रोकेमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग इंडस्ट्रीज दे आर लॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड आउट ऑफ दीज इंडस्ट्रीज वी आर गेटिंग पोल्यूटेंट्स इन एयर एज वेल एज इन वाटर एंड मोर स्पेशली द पल्प एंड पेपर इंडस्ट्री इज प्रोड्यूसिंग द पोल्यूटेंट्स Uh, which are uh, going in air as well as in water so air as well as water is polluted and in the case of pulp and paper industry we are using small pieces of wood if i say wood means it is cellulose and these cellulose are crushed into powder into small pieces and that small pieces of the wood is converted into pulp by making use of different type of chemicals and in this process of chemical treatment mm. uh they are using the free chlorine and sulfur dioxide and this sulfur dioxide is used as a uh decolorizing agent and whatever some dirty color or brown color or bleached by free chlorine and sulfur dioxide gas and this sulfur dioxide once it is going into first like calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide plus so2 and this one when uh, they combine together it will be converted into calcium sulfide that is your ca h so3 twice and this calcium bisulfide or calcium hydrogen sulfide is the most toxic one and also the sulfur dioxide uh, once it is uh, present in that uh, waste water which is coming out of pulp and paper industry they are very toxic to our aquatic animal like fish and also this uh, calcium hydrogen sulfide that is calcium bisulfide is also very very harmful and this calcium bisulfide uh, it is widely used in different industries also but in the case of paper industry it is mainly used to bleach the uh, pulp so that all the dirty material is clear and for your kind information whatever wood crushed powder is used only 50% of that material is converted into paper and rest of the 50% wood is small pieces they are going to stream of the water maybe in the river and pond and once they are going there they are deposited and these are mainly cellulose and the hydrolysis will take place and fermentation will take place in that processes of hydrolysis first they will be converted into uh, glucose sugar and that sugar will be fermented so with that process of fermentation it is converted into alcohol and at the same time whatever the pigments color pigments are going there they are also stopping checking the photosynthesis and that photosynthesis means it is conversion to energy uh, which is useful for microorganisms as well as some uh, algae and uh, fungi so all these are very much uh, we can say harmful and toxic to all the microorganisms to fish and all uh, aquatic animals when pulp and paper waste water without treatment if it is going to uh, pond or river 
and nowadays we are very much concerned the chemist globally about the uh, calcium bisulfide because calcium bisulfide uh, is uh, decomposed into uh, different uh, simple compounds and in order to remove these uh, toxic materials sometimes we have to use microorganisms that is called biological process so that they can be converted with the help of oxidation oxidative degradation so lot of methods are used especially for this paper and pulp uh, waste water and the main concern in that is that is your calcium bisulfide sulfur dioxide free chlorine and they are all mainly used as a bleaching agent this calcium bisulfide is also used as a uh, preservative in some beer industries and some other food industries but mainly in paper industry this calcium bisulfide is used only for bleaching uh, purpose so here i have given all the different type of industries and then my main emphasis is on the waste water what we are getting out of pulp and paper industries number one are uh, the main industries situated in all countries are paper and pulp industries textile industries explosive industries soap and detergent industries phosphate industries insecticide uh, industries pesticide and herbicide industries uh, second one in addition to all these industries there are some other large number of industries such as uh, tanneries tanneries means they are processing the leather uh, that is called tannery industry uh, glass industry electroplating industries and they also produce wide variety of water uh, pollutants number 3 the paper and pulp industries are responsible of both pollutants in air as well as in water so air and water pollutions are uh, given by paper and pulp industries uh, the waste uh, of the paper and pulp industries contain stray wood chips bits of bark cellulose fibers actually wood is nothing but cellulose so mainly when we are preparing uh, the pulp of the wood we will get some small pieces of wood at the same time uh, some bark pieces some uh, lignins will be there some tannins will be there so all these are the uh, plant uh, phytochemicals which are present in uh, wood contain cellulose fibers in and dissolve uh, lignins nearly 50% of the wood used for paper manufacture is rejected so whatever wood we are using in pulp and paper industries only 50% are consumed and rest of the other uh, wood material including it bark some other contamination some lignans and some tannins they are all rejected only 50% is used for making up the uh, paper in paper and pulp industries so in continuation now uh, number 4 the small pieces of wood would sink into water that i have already told you that uh, there will be some bark powder some wood powder some uh, uh, lignans 
some tannins, some fibers, cellulose, all together, it will be settled at the bottom of the uh, water and it will provide a platform. And there, uh, it will be a, a disturbance for fish to go to ground and get some other nutrients for them like algae, fungi, and some other microorganisms. And they will form as a blankets for fish and spawning grounds and destroy certain types of aquatic life. A lot of uh, microorganisms will be destroyed. Uh, number five, uh, bleaching liquid. Here actually bleaching liquid uh, is this serious issue in paper and pulp industry. Once they are preparing this bleaching liquid means they will take uh, free chlorine and then carbon, I mean sulfur dioxide will be passed into calcium hydroxide that is lime water and this mixture will be changed into that is called uh, calcium bisulfite and this calcium bisulfite is a serious matter a lot of research is going on that from uh, paper and pulp industries lot of uh, calcium bisulfites are going leaking into river ponds and many underground water so how to neutralize them how to treat them we are using lot of different techniques like fermentation uh, with that technique, we are destroying it by oxidative degradation, by oxidation, so uh, and aerobic uh, oxidation. So these are all techniques used. They are mainly uh, biological process where microorganisms are used to uh, destroy and to break down that calcium uh, bisulfate a molecule. So that is a bleaching liquid containing free chlorine and sulfur dioxide gas are very toxic for fish and the wastewater of the paper pulp industries are also containing compounds such as methyl mercury. So that's why methyl mercury is also another uh, toxic material and some of the uh, we can say old fishes, fatty fishes they go they will go on consuming and they will develop resistance and it will be uh, contaminated fish they will uh, be having some percentage of uh, methyl mercury and once that fish is taken by uh, us especially by pregnant women it will even uh, we can say have some toxic effect on infant unborn child so methyl mercury is there that is accumulated in that uh, wastewater. Then uh, pentachlorophenol and sodium pentachlorophenate. So these are all uh, the product of uh, from paper and pulp industries which are toxic and which are dangerous to fish and other aquatic life. And number six, the dark color influence I mean waste from paper industries because when paper industries are preparing the pulp out of uh, wood so the bark and some other materials they will be having some deep color brown color uh, reddish color or sometimes a green color and this color they are going as a waste in the water and they will inhibit I mean they will disturb the photosynthesis by the microorganisms and in this way the microorganisms will be uh, disturbed and their life will be in danger and that is the industries also interfere aquatic photosynthesis number seven paper industries have serious problem with treating calcium sulfide uh, waste and that is CHSO3 twice uh, and the sulfide waste is first separated from the pulp and paper and after the separation it is uh, subjected to uh, fermentation since uh, all these are basically uh, cellulose material 
and that cellulose material before the fermentation it will hydrolyze and after the hydrolysis it will be broken down into sugar molecules and these sugar molecules in presence of microorganisms, uh, zymes, uh, is it will be converted into ethyl alcohol and that it, ethyl alcohol will be uh, used as a uh, spirit. Uh, I, I mean it can be useful to manufacture beer and so many other alcoholic beverages. So that is how uh, all this uh, waste water from pulp and paper industries they are treated and how these impurities are removed and I have already told you that in the case of paper and pulp industries the most uh, dangerous one, toxic ones are that is free chlorine that is uh, your calcium, sulfite, sulfur dioxide and also pentachlorophenol, pentachlorophenate, uh, then methyl mercury. They, they are the ones which are very much toxic to aquatic animals and if we are taking those uh, fishes they have the contamination of this, so even we can uh, have the toxic effect of those uh, substances. So potable or we can say safe drinking water is a serious issue nowadays globally and we are trying and we are doing all type of chemical, biological uh, treatments to make sure that all the uh, waste material, all the pollutants are uh, digested, are removed, filtered off or by oxidation they are reduced and by biological process they are degraded that is called oxidative degradation so thank you very much for watching the lecture